Baruch, chapter 1. And these are the words of the book which Baruch, the son of Neriah, the son of Maxayah, the son of Sithkiyahu, the son of Kasithyah, the son of Kilkiyahu, wrote in Babel. In the fifth year, and on the seventh day of the month, at the time the Castites took Jerusalem and burned it with fire. And Baruch read the words of this book in the hearing of Yekoniah, the son of Yoyakim, sovereign of Yehuda, and in the ears of all the people that came to hear the book, and in the hearing of the nobles and of the sovereign's sons, and in the hearing of the elders and of all the people, from the least to the greatest, even of all those who dwelt at Babel by the river Suth. So they wept, fasted, and prayed before Yahuwah. They also made a collection of silver according to every man's ability, and they sent it to Yerushalayim, to Jehoiakim, the Kohen Hagadol, the son of Kilkiahu, son of Shalom, and to the Kohanim, and to all the people who were found with him in Yerushalayim. At the same time, he received the vessels of the house of Yahuwah that were carried out of the Hekal to return them to the land of Yehuda on the tenth day of the month, Siwan, namely, vessels of silver, which Sithkiahu, the son of Yoshiahu, sovereign of Yehuda, had made. After Nebuchadnezzar, sovereign of Babel, had carried away Yekonia and the princes and the captives and the mighty men and the people of the land of Yerushalayim and brought them to Babel. And they said, See, we have sent you silver to buy burnt offerings and sin offerings and incense and prepare a grain offering and offer on the altar of Yahuwah our Elohim. And pray for the life of Nebuchadnezzar, sovereign of Babel, and for the life of Belshazzar, his son, that their days upon earth might be as the days of the Shamaim. And Yahuwah shall give us strength and enlighten our eyes, and we shall live under the shadow of Nebuchadnezzar, sovereign of Babel, and under the shadow of Belshazzar, his son. And we shall serve them many days and find favor in their sight. Pray for us also to Yahuwah our Elohim, for we have sinned against Yahuwah our Elohim, and to this day the displeasure of Yahuwah and his wrath has not turned from us. And you shall read the book which we have sent to you, to make confession in the house of Yahuwah at the feast and appointed times. And you shall say, To Yahuwah our Elohim belongs righteousness, but to us the shame of face, as it has come to be this day to those of Yehuda, and to the inhabitants of Yerushalayim, and to our sovereigns, and to our princes, and to our Kohanim, and to our Nevaim, and to our fathers. For we have sinned before Yahuwah, and disobeyed him, and have not listened to the voice of Yahuwah our Elohim, to walk in the commands that he gave us openly. Since the day that Yahuwah brought our forefathers out of the land of Mitzrayim to this present day, we have been disobedient to Yahuwah our Elohim, and we have been negligent by not obeying his voice. Therefore, the evils cling to us, and the curse, which Yahuwah appointed by Moshe, his servant, at the time that he brought our fathers out of the land of Mitzrayim, to give us a land that flows with milk and honey, as it is to this day. Nevertheless, we have not listened to the voice of Yahuwah our Elohim, according to all the words of the Nevi'im whom he sent to us. But every man followed the imagination of his own wicked heart to serve foreign mighty ones and to do evil in the sight of Yahuwah our Elohim. Chapter 2 Therefore Yahuwah has brought about his word, which he pronounced against us, and against our judges who judged Yisrael, and against our sovereigns, and against our princes, and against the men of Israel and Yehuda, to bring upon us great plagues such as have never come to be under all the Shamaim, as it came to be in Yerushalayim, according to that which was written in the law of Moshe, that a man should eat the flesh of his own son and the flesh of his own daughter, and he has delivered them to be in subjection to all the reigns that are around us, to be a reproach and a desolation among all the people round about where Yahuwah has scattered them. Therefore we were thrown down 
and not exalted, because we have sinned against Yahuwah our Elohim, and have not been obedient to his voice. To Yahuwah our Elohim belongs righteousness, but unto us and to our fathers open shame, as it is this day. For all these plagues have come upon us, which Yahuwah has pronounced against us. Yet have we not prayed before Yahuwah, that every one of us might turn from the imaginations of his wicked heart. Therefore, Yahuwah watched over us for evil, and Yahuwah has brought it upon us. For Yahuwah is righteous in all his works, which he has commanded us. Yet we have not listened to his voice, to walk in the commands of Yahuwah that he has appointed us. And now, O Yahuwah Elohim of Israel, who has brought your people out of the land of Mitzrayim with a mighty hand and high arm and with signs and with wonders and with great power and have made yourself a name as it is this day. O Yahuwah our Elohim, we have sinned, we have done wickedly, we have dealt unrighteously in all your laws. Let your wrath turn from us, for we are but a remnant left among the Gentiles, where you have scattered us. Hear our prayers, O Yahuwah, and our petitions, and deliver us for your own sake, and give us favor in the sight of those who have led us away, that all the earth may know that you are Yahuwah, our Elohim, because Yisrael and his descendants are called by your name. O Yahuwah, look down from your Kodesh dwelling and consider us. Bow down your ear, O Yahuwah, to hear us. Open your eyes and see, for the dead who are in the graves, whose beings are taken from their bodies, shall neither give unto Yahuwah praise nor righteousness. But the being that is greatly tortured, which is stooped and feeble and with eyes that fail, and the hungry being gives you praise and righteousness, O Yahuwah. Therefore, we do not make our humble supplication before you, O Yahuwah, our Elohim, for the righteousness of our fathers and of our sovereigns. For you have sent out your wrath and displeasure upon us, as you have spoken by your servants, the Nevi'im, saying, Thus says Yahuwah, Bow down your shoulders to serve the sovereign of Babel. So shall you remain in the land that I gave unto your fathers. But if you do not listen to the voice of Yahuwah to serve the sovereign of Babel, I shall cause to cease out of the cities of Yehuda and from without Yerushalayim, the voice of gladness and the voice of joy, the voice of the bridegroom and the voice of the bride, and the whole land shall be empty of inhabitants. But we would not listen to your voice to serve the sovereign of Babel. Therefore, you have confirmed the words that you spoke by your servants, the Nevi'im, namely, that the bones of our sovereigns and the bones of our fathers would be removed from their place. And see, they are thrown out to the heat of the day and to the frost of the night, and they died in great miseries by scarcity of food, by sword and by pestilence. And the house which is called by your name, you have laid waste as it is to be seen this day for the wickedness of the house of Israel and the house of Yehuda. O Yahuwah our Elohim, you have dealt with us according to all your goodness and according to all your great kindness. As you spoke by your servant Moshe in the day when you commanded him to write the law before the children of Israel, saying, If you do not hear my voice, Surely this very great crowd shall be turned into a small remnant among the nations, where I shall scatter them. For I knew that they would not hear me, because they are a stiff-necked people. But in the land of their captivities they shall remember themselves, and shall know that I am Yahuwah their Elohim. For I shall give them a heart and ears to hear, and they shall praise me in the land of their captivity, and think upon my name and turn from their stiff neck and from their wicked deeds, for they shall remember the way of their fathers who sinned before Yahuwah. And I shall again bring them into the land which I promised with an oath to their fathers, Avraham, Yishkek, and Yaakov, and they shall be masters of it, and I shall increase them, and they shall not be diminished. And I shall make an everlasting covenant with them to be their Elohim, and they shall be my people." 
And I shall no longer drive my people of Israel out of the land that I have given them. Chapter 3 O Yahuwah El Shaddai, Elohim of Israel, the being in anguish, the troubled spirit cries unto you. Hear, O Yahuwah, and show favor, for you are kind, and show favor to us, because we have sinned before you. For you endure forever, and we have utterly perished. O Yahuwah El Shaddai, Elohim of Israel, hear now the prayers of the perished Israelites and of their children who have sinned before you, and not listen to your voice, their Elohim, by reason of which these plagues cling to us. Do not remember the wickednesses of our forefathers, but now, at this time, remember your power and your name. For you are Yahuwah, our Elohim, and you, O Yahuwah, we shall praise. And for this cause, you have put your reverence in our hearts, to the intent that we should call upon your name and praise you in our captivity. For we have remembered all the wickedness of our forefathers who sinned before you. See, we are still in our captivity this day, where you have scattered us for a reproach and a curse, and to be punished according to all the wickednesses of our fathers who departed from Yahuwah our Elohim. Hear, Israel the commands of Kai, listen to understand wisdom. How does it come to be, O Israel, that you are in the land of your enemies, that you have grown old in a foreign land, that you are defiled with the dead, that you are counted among those who go down into the grave? You have forsaken the fountain of wisdom, for if you had walked in the way of Elohim, you would have dwelt in peace forever. Learn where there is wisdom, where there is strength, where there is understanding, that you may know also where there is length of days and life, where there is light of the eyes and peace. Who has found out her place, or who has come into her storehouse? Where are the princes of the Gentiles, and those who ruled the beasts of the earth, those who made sport of the birds of the air, and those who hoarded silver and gold, in which men trust, and made no end to their getting. For those who worked in silver and were so anxious, and whose works are unsearchable, they have vanished and gone down to the grave, and others have come up in their place. Young men have seen light and dwelt upon the earth, but the way of knowledge have they not known, nor understood its paths, nor laid hold of it. Their children are far from the way. It has not been heard in Canaan, nor has it been seen in Taman. The sons of Hagar, who seek wisdom upon earth, the merchants of Marin and of Taman, the authors of fables and seekers of understanding, none of these have known the way of wisdom or remember her paths. O Yisrael, how great is the house of Elohim, and how large is the place of his possession! It is great and has no end, high and immeasurable. There were the giants of name from the beginning, who were of such great size and so skilled in battle. These did not choose Yahuwah, nor did he give them the way of knowledge, and they were destroyed because they had no wisdom and perished through their own foolishness. Who has gone up into the Shamaim and taken her and brought her down from the clouds? Who has gone over the sea and found her, and acquires her for pure gold? No man knows her way, nor thinks upon her path. But he who knows all knows her, and has found her with his understanding. He who prepared the earth forever has filled it with four-footed beasts. He who sends forth light, and it goes, calls it again, and it obeys him with reverence. The stars shone in their watches and rejoiced. When he calls them, they say, Here we are. And so with gladness they showed light unto he who made them. This is our Elohim, and there is no other be counted in comparison of him. He has found all the way of knowledge, and has given it unto Yaakov his servant, and to Yisrael his beloved. Afterward, 
he showed himself on the earth and conversed with men. Chapter 4 This is the book of the commands of Elohim and the law that endures forever. All those who guard it shall attain Kai, but those who leave it shall die. Turn, O Yaakov, and take hold of it. Walk in the presence of its light, that you may be illuminated. Do not give your esteem to another, nor those which bring you profit to a foreign nation. O Yisrael, Baruch are we, for those who are pleasing to Elohim have been made known to us. Take courage, my people, the remembrance of Yisrael. You were sold to the nations, not for destruction, but because you moved Elohim to wrath, you were delivered unto your enemies. For you provoked he who made you by offering to demons and not to Elohim. You have forgotten the everlasting Elohim who raised you up, and you have grieved Yerushalayim who nursed you. For when she saw the wrath of Elohim coming upon you, she said, Hear, O you who dwell around Sion. Elohim has brought upon me great mourning, for I saw the captivity of my sons and daughters, which the everlasting brought upon them. With joy I nourished them, but sent them away with weeping and mourning. Let no man rejoice over me, a widow, and forsaken by many, who for the sins of my children am left laid waste, because they departed from the law of Elohim. They did not know his laws, nor walk in the ways of his commands, nor trod in the paths of discipline in his righteousness. Let those who dwell around Sion come and remember the captivity of my sons and daughters, which the everlasting has brought upon them. For he has brought a nation upon them from afar, a shameless nation and of a foreign language, who neither revered old men nor shown compassion to children. These have carried away the dearly beloved children of the widow and left she who was alone lying waste without daughters. But how shall I help you? For he who brought these plagues upon you delivers you from the hands of your enemies. Go your way, O oh my children, go your way, for I am left laid waste. I have put off the garments of peace and put upon myself the sackcloth of my prayer. I cried to the everlasting in my days. Be of good cheer, O my children. Cry unto Yahuwah, and he shall deliver you from the strength and hand of your enemies. For my expectancy is in the everlasting, that he shall save you. And joy has come to me from the Kadash one, because of the kindness which shall soon come to you from the everlasting, our Savior. For I sent you out with mourning and weeping, but Elohim shall give you to me again with joy and gladness forever. For as the neighbors of Sion have seen your captivity, so shall they soon see your salvation from our Elohim, which shall come upon you with great esteem and brightness of the everlasting. My children, patiently endure the wrath that has come upon you from Elohim, for your enemy has persecuted you, but shortly you shall see his destruction and shall tread upon his neck. My delicate ones have gone rough ways and were taken away as a flock caught by the enemy. Be of good comfort, O my children, and cry unto Elohim, for you shall be remembered by he who brought these upon you. For as it was your heart to go astray from Elohim, so, being returned, seek him ten times more. For he who has brought these plagues upon you brings you everlasting joy with your deliverance. Take courage, O Yerushalayim, for he who gave you that name shall comfort you. Those who afflicted you and rejoiced at your fall are wretched. The cities that your children served are wretched. She who received your sons is wretched. For as she rejoiced at your ruin and was glad of your fall, so she shall be grieved when she is laid waste. For I shall take away the rejoicing of her great crowd, and her pride shall be turned into mourning. For long-lasting fire shall come upon her from the everlasting, and she shall be a dwelling of demons for a long time. O Yerushalayim, look around you toward the east, 
and see the joy that comes to you from Elohim. See, your sons come, whom you sent away. They come gathered together from the east to the west by the word of the Kadash one, rejoicing in the esteem of Elohim. Chapter 5 O Yerushalayim, put off the garment of mourning and affliction, and put on the comeliness of the esteem that comes from Elohim forever. Throw around yourself a double garment of the righteousness which comes from Elohim and put a crown of the esteem of the everlasting on your head. For Elohim shall show your brightness to every land under the Shamayim, for your name shall forever be called by Elohim, the peace of righteousness, and the esteem of worship of Elohim. Arise, O Yerushalayim, and stand on high, and look out toward the east, and see your children gathered from the west to the east by the word of the Kadash one rejoicing in the remembrance of Elohim. For they departed from you on foot and were led away by their enemies. But Elohim brings them to you exalted with esteem as children of the rain. For Elohim has appointed every high hill and long-standing mountains to be thrown down and valleys filled up to make the ground even that Yisrael may go safely in the esteem of Elohim and even the forest and every sweet-smelling tree shall shade Yisrael at the command of Elohim. For Elohim shall lead Yisrael with joy in the light of his esteem, with the kindness and righteousness that comes from him.